All right, I'm gonna see if I can make a video here. It's a wide angle lens. It is absolutely breathtaking out here. That's um, Mount Blanca and the Spanish Peaks behind it, I believe. 14,000 foot mountain. This is a wide angle shot. Um, this is on a 100,000 acre. It used to be a 100,000 acre ranch that got sold to uh, like 5, 10, and 50 acre tracks to different people. And um, my brother uh, purchased one and I take care of it for him. So we got five acres out here. Starts right there where the property line is. And um, all the way down that road and then to the left and then all the way down the other road. So it's quite a, quite a good sized piece. Um, I got the wide angle view on. I think I'm going to keep that on so you can see the, the land and the, the beautiful mountain. We had some spring uh, snowballs this morning and last night, but it wasn't anything too crazy. Man, this wide angle is crazy. I get this whole forest. So there's a lot of sagebrush. It's beautiful and mostly dead uh, juniper and some cedar. <clears throat> Lots of pinion pine. So there's so many pine nuts here in the fall. That's what these are. These are when they open up. You gotta get them when they're green in the fall and then you can roast them and get the pine nuts out of them. But these are great for survival if you need to start a fire in the rain because they, they, they catch like gasoline. But this right here is the top of the, this is the back side of the property. Um, and this ridge is just incredible right here. Um, you can see the property line down there on the pink, little pink uh, marker. But it's beautiful down there. It's extremely windy. Right now there's a high fire danger. So I had the fire pit really, had to have it built up pretty good and protected last night. But there's a beautiful ridge here and a cliffside. But uh, I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a tour here. The property's pretty big, so I don't know how long I'll do it. But <clears throat> this is the ridge too. This is the, the uppermost part of the property. And you can see these two beautiful mountains um, there. their little campsite down there kind of a little bit it's hidden behind those trees because of how windy it is we had to have the encampment protected from the trees but right here is you have this ridge and you have this flat mesa here and the views are just in I have to take a couple trees down because there's so many but Be the view of the future cabin that's when these trees get removed but there's a reservoir and these giant absolutely breathtaking mountains right here world famous this is the san luis valley in the sangre de cristo mountain range we got snowed on last night and this morning Woo! but it is incredible out here i love it i love i love roughing it i'm fortunate um, that my brother lets me come out here and take care of his land and be a part of this, keep it in the family. Um, I hope that he he uh, develops it a lot more over the years. We're starting to build some trails today, me and my son, as you can see here. Um, so this is where I have the camp set up. I'm getting ready to pack up day go fishing but uh, in between these trees to protect us from the from this crazy wind that you can probably hear and then we have more trees here more trees and then we have that cliff that kind of buffers the wind a little bit there that hillside and then lots of just a lot of a lot of a lot of greenery here a lot of greenery with a wide angle on so you can see it a little better uh, built a little latrine over there but it is just marvelous out here. Got my tent, my leaf air coming in handy. Got the gun there. Table with the hatchet. 
breakfast. Uh, some uh, Don Francisco's vanilla nut. Mmm. Yummy. The bow. Been shooting the bow today, testing out my skills as a camp light for nighttime. But uh, this bow is pretty, uh, pretty serious. Yeah. I love it. Been getting better and better with it. Oh. This camping shovel, of course, you gotta be safe. Um, I just pushed all the rocks in here and put some dirt on there. Put the fire out because it was too windy. All our stuff for a tent, you know. Yeah, so we're doing it upright. Just living, living the life, you know. Living the dream. Um, blunt land here in the San Luis Valley. Um, so we got... The views are just... I mean, I'm, my brother hasn't even been out here yet. <laughs> so I feel... I feel, I feel bad coming out here all the time and enjoying it when he's sending him videos and photos when he hasn't even had the opportunity to come out here yet. But he'll be out here soon enough. He'll be living out here half the year. Let's see what cabin built. So, this is more of the property. So it extends, so that road I just showed you earlier, you have to go down there and then come down over here and hit a left and this, there's another road right along here. Property goes all along this road. There's a bunch of sagebrush that we'd have to pull out with some ATVs or just relocate them potentially. Or even keep them here. So just make pathways. But uh, it is just incredibly gorgeous. A lot of the views are obstructed um, from these beautiful trees but it helps to keep the wind out of your face. So it's really not so bad. Um, here's that road. And, um, oh, the sun's coming out. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous out here. You literally can hear nothing. It is so beautiful. We are, we are about five to seven miles into these mountains. And we have a neighbor like a quarter mile away and a couple of other people that own some property. But, but uh, we're, this is so isolated out here. Um, it's just so majestic. The birds woke us up this morning. Um... I had trouble sleeping last night because the wind was so high, shaking the tent around, but I slept until 11 to catch up on my sleep, and then I was just shooting the bow and the arrow and testing my skills, but I mean, you can just see how incredibly gorgeous this land is out here. It's, it's really untouched. I mean, this was an old ranch for, I think, 100 or 200 years, Trenanchera Ranch, um, the Sango de Cristo ranches, and then they, they parceled it all out and sold it to people to live off the grid. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and walk down the street a little bit so you guys can see how far this property extends. I'm imagining it's kind of thin. I have to look at the property line again on the map, but because it goes all the way down to this road, so uh, it's not very wide, which is good because there's a cliff on this other side, but it goes literally all the way down there and then some, back to where I showed those markers on the right of this, hit a, go down this road and hit a right down the other road. And goes all the way, all the way, put on the wide angle, all the way. And then this view is just insane right here. There's a crazy storm coming in. That's why I'm about to pack up so I don't get stuck in the mud out here. But uh, this view is just mind boggling. So gorgeous. But yeah, the property extends all the way. You walk this road, and there's another marker down here, but it literally goes all the way down here. It's incredibly beautiful. And I'm trying to suggest a couple spots to, to build cabins because there's only two flat ridges here. So I'm thinking either the end over here or way back where I showed you in the beginning of the video. Because right here, the views are <laughs> in Insane. You can see this the reservoir and these mountains. So there's a reservoir down there that we go fish in that's stocked with northern pike and trout in the summer. And then Mount Blanco, of course, uh, 14,000 foot mountain. But yeah, it's just majestic. We're about to get rained on. I gotta get out of here. Um, 
It is truly magical. You gotta be careful when you're coming out here. In the, I have all-wheel drive and all-terrain tires, but I have a very low profile Volvo, so if it's muddy, I I, uh, I get stuck. So, um, you have a four-wheel drive if you're coming out here in the spring or the winter. If it's wet, but otherwise you can get out here fine. Truly marvelous. Yeah, this road here goes all the way. 